Uh, our Weiler um, practicant at work here developed a problem, uh, namely that uh, you couldn't switch it off uh, or be certain that it was off or actually on. So this manifested itself like so. If you switch on, it's off again. That's how it should be, but it often went like. like so. The switch for this <coughs> is uh, linked to, uh, to this arm here, of course, uh, where you operate it. Just switch it off. Um, and this needs to be dealt with in the way that you access the panel at the side here and take off this. And then you uh, and also slide off a, a collar here. And the actual switch is inside here. And I've um, drawing here and I bought parts from Violet, the switch, the collar and uh, some um, other parts. This is actually uh, a hexagon inside and it's a fiber type of um, item. This should be inside here and it's all linked to this switch that is inside here. Not bad that Weider actually produces and delivers parts for such an old machine. I can't really say that, uh, that there is anything lacking here. I mean, from the support side. So the actual switch is quite a normal switch. And then there is a hexagonal inside it's hexagonal type of color that should go in here i think at least it's according to the drawing here that part by the switch is of course mounted as i said in the in the box here at the side undo the screws here to get that off. The inside here is the switch and the linkage arm. So I turn off the power now. So if I activate the switch, you can see what happens. And uh, next is to, well, there's a small thrust bearing inside here. And then loosen and take that out and here so you get the shaft loose and you can slide this bracket off mm. and this is just a loose fit i mean it's just slide, slid on so you can gently take that out also Now, of course, the hex bolts here. And of course, you have to loosen the connection here before you take that off. So, and of course, only one of the two pins got out, but fortunately, this is a high end machine, so there are holes back here that you can enter. Like so, and then just get the pin out that way. And the pin got out here. So both pins out. And to get it, the switch linkage arm out, you need to undo these also from here. So you get the assembly out. Like so. Now we can take out that. And uh, raise. 
And here you see the linkage arm on there. So then unscrew here, pull this out, and then you can access <laughs> the sleeve, which is longer up there. So of course you have to have this off also. Just have to use a little persuasion to hold that. It was kind of stuck. Having taken this out, you can undo that. Now this slides off and this slides off. Yes, with a little bit of persuasion here too. Yeah. And now this is loose. Then there are two screws holding the really the um, locking screws inside here from each end here. So this is really like this goes into the slot and here you have a cap uh, on top of that. The error could be a result of this, which goes to each side of this rod here. This, uh, take the underside here, that this slips some way. It could be so simple, but I'm not sure. So that there is, the action is not precise enough. And this is an underside view. Uh, the hexagon rod is loose now, but uh, we have to disassemble this part. After fumbling with this a bit, I think uh, this is just a sleeve that goes in here. And uh, when you have these two plugs, this is just a, let's say, a guidance for these inside there. Uh, so it connects this motion to the, the hexagon rod here. Long fight, but it came off. And uh, there we have it. And once that was off, it was just a matter of sliding it that way. And you see the spring and then uh, there's a circle clip holding that um, here in this. As you see on the drawing here. It's now here with the spring and everything and held together by the circle clip at the end here. So now I'm ready to Take out that. So the circle clip out. Then this should slide off. If I am not mistaken. That way, okay. And then this. And the spring, yeah, there is nothing holding that to the shaft anymore. So the shaft is out. And so this is also okay. The electrical switch is, of course, in here. So it needs to be disconnected and removed. Uh, three Embraco screws here also. Let's try this.
here we are and there is plenty of cable length here to pull this out and of course then make a swap 